Hey everybody, Richard Vader Sharp here and if you haven't already clicked that subscribe button, please do so and help me grow this channel and this community. So let's get straight into things. So if you saw my previous video about the announcement of the Babyliss FX1 system and range of uh, clippers, you know my first thoughts are I was impressed with what I have seen. But what I want to do is give you a bit more of a detailed breakdown of why I am actually planning to buy these clippers when they become available in the UK. So bear with me, I've got a few things I wanna go through um, in this video and if don't mind if I'm looking down at my phone because I don't wanna miss everything out, I wanna give you all the kind of detail and insights as to why I'm planning to buy this range of clippers when they become available in the UK. All right, so let's get into it. Firstly, my background with Babyliss clippers. So as you all will know, if you've seen my previous videos, I've used a whole variety and, and use a variety of clippers from Babyliss to Andis to Wall, etc. Um, but I'm now at a point where I've used Babyliss Pro Clippers for a really long time. Some of you might have seen one of my previous videos where I actually showed you a clipper that not many barbers actually know about. It's over like 20 years old, um, a Babyliss Pro uh, clipper that's similar to an Oster 76. Um, you can see the, the, I'll leave the link in the uh, description or it might even pop up on your screen that you can go to if you wanna see what that clipper looks like. Um, but I've been using Babyliss Clippers for a very long time. And I have to say the consistency of their product for me has been really high. Um, I feel the quality of their products um, is really good. Um, I've not really had any issues with any of my Babyliss clippers and trimmers that I've used and they've worked really well for me. So I've got an extensive period with Babyliss, but for me, I feel like in the last three to five years, I feel like they've just been changing the game, that they've really been trying to innovate and bring new things that are valuable to barbers and also the quality of their product for me has remained high throughout this period of time. And one thing that I really appreciate about what Babyliss has been doing is I feel like they're really listening to barbers and listening to the feedback that's coming from barbers about ways that they can refine and they can improve. And I appreciate the way that they have been refining and improving their their clipper range um, as well. So the current Babyliss clippers that I use um, is the, um, the FX clipper and I've got a low pro FX um, as well. So uh, two quarters clippers and then I've got the, the skeleton um, trimmer uh, as well. And you'll know from previous videos I've done about them. I really like them, I really love them. They work well. I love the click lever system um, as well. So I'm really happy with the Babyliss clippers I've been using, um, but I do still use other, other clippers as well. But this range might be exactly what I have been looking for that will make me go all Babyliss. I generally haven't gone all one brand when it comes to my clippers, but I might be on the verge of doing it now. So I'll give you a few reasons as to why that is. Okay, so reason number one, the benefits of an interchangeable battery system. I love what they've done with this. For me, the whole uh, ecosystem built around just one battery for me, I think just works. Um, and especially where currently I am a mobile um, private barber. So to be able to potentially just buy, maybe say a couple of additional batteries, which I'm assuming Babyliss are gonna make available to purchase so that they could just be charged up, have them in my bag. If they're needed, they can just be drawn upon, slot it in, away I go. That to me, is amazing. Um, and then even if you're not mobile and you're in the shop, with the um, charging system that they have, being able to just have batteries charged up and be ready to go or just take the battery out of your trimmer, put it straight into your clipper and away you go. That for me, I think is really smart um, and really well thought out plan uh, by Babyliss. So I like that. I also like the indicating lights on the bottom so you can clearly see how much battery you've got uh, left and available to use. 
love that. Um, also, in terms of battery life, now I had to do a bit of digging around this because I was trying to get some insights to right, how long should we be expecting from the battery um, from these clippers. Now, what Babelis said under the comments in one of their videos was they said between two and a half to four hours. So my assumption would be that depending on what product you're using will determine how long the battery will last for, okay? But to know that at say a base level, you're getting two and a half hours for me, I'm happy with that. That's, that's good with me. I don't really have any complaints um, about that. Um, now, one thing that I've seen from the comments in terms of cost, all right, this doesn't look like it's gonna be the, if I say cheap and the most affordable um, clipper system. I think I saw on one video, somebody got the the, uh, the clipper and the trimmer and it was like around $500. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be similar pricing in the UK. Okay, that's not cheap, but I have to say, based on the my background of experience with Babelis Clippers, how well they've worked, how reliable they've been, I'm not against spending that money to get uh, a couple of these clippers and trimmers. So that's another thing for me. Uh, what else did I have on my list? Okay, the of the range that they've got i do like all of the all of what they've produced the five different products i have to say i am particularly interested in the low pro fx clipper and trimmer but let's talk about the clipper first so i currently use a low pro um, fx and i think it's one of the best um, value for money cordless clippers on the market in the uk it's like 148 or 150 pounds um, i like the wedge blade on it i like the color i like the design i love how comfortable it feels in the hand um, and i like the way it works but what i really like is it seems like they've really thought about how could they refine and improve this clipper so some of the things that stood out to me straight away was the lever i have to say the lever is one downside for me on the uh, low pro effects that i have it's not as smooth as on the FX, um, as on the uh, normal uh, like FX, like your gold FX um, clippers. It's yeah, it's not as smooth. It's a bit more. Uh, how could I put it? It's a bit more clicky where it's like it jolts between the the different uh, levels. It's not as smooth. Um, but from what I've seen online and the videos I've seen online, it looks like they've really improved that. The lever made it bigger, giving it some grooves for better grip. So that looks like it's a really good improvement. It also looks like it's got the extended range on it as well so that it could open up to about a number one from what I remember from what I've seen online um, as well. So I like that too the the finger grooves it looks like they've put additional finger grooves uh on the clipper to make it feel really great in the hand I, I already thought it did feel really good in the hand but this looks like it's even been refined further so i like that babulis is continuously looking at how can we make that experience just that little bit better even if it's five percent that five percent matters so i like that they're having that kind of approach to the way that they're creating uh their clippers okay what else did i have that i really liked um ba -ba -da -ba -ba. i said lever finger grooves adjusted body okay that blade let's talk about that blade the mim blade I love the way that they've innovated with the blade. And it's interesting because you know, sometimes you, you see something new happen and you think, why didn't anyone else ever think of that? Um, and don't correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think another brand that I'm aware of has done that as yet. If I'm wrong, put it in the comments section. I'm happy to be wrong. Correct me if I am. Um, but I love that innovation of having the, the grooves on the underside of the blade so the oil can just be in that little reservoir and keep your blades well oiled for longer. Also, it's supposed to help with keeping them cooler, letting them run powerfully, but also quieter um, as well. So I love that innovation um, as well. So that's something I'm also very interested in and also just the overall color. I also like the form factor as well. It's slightly different. It looks like it's a bit tapered on the low pro effect. So it tapers in a bit, which looks like it'll be just nice in the hand. So yep, I like that. And then with the trimmer, I like how you've got the uh, little pop off um, front piece from like the uh, snap effects where it allows you just to clean the, clean the trimmer a lot easier um, as well. And skeletonize it as well so i really like that um and then oh the the other big thing for me all right and bear with me if i labor on this a little bit because i think it is that important a feature um the charging 
the charging dock for the batteries one just how small and how portable those are for me is is a win um, especially as somebody that is moving about that's mobile that easily fits into my clipper case or my clipper bag easily portable easy to carry around that's number one why i love it number two the fact that it's got USB-C option to charge it with. Okay, you can use the, the other um, pin charger um, if you're gonna say, whether it be uh, just have it on your, uh, on, in your barber booth, um, but having USB-C charging, right, this to me, it just makes sense. So for example, within my bag, I, I've got USB-C chargers to charge my, um, my MacBook Pro, um, to charge my wireless microphones, to charge my phone and so many other things so just to have something that is universal so I don't have to carry around loads of different chargers I could have one um, one charger say for example like an anchor charger with multiple point uh, USB-C ports and then just have a few cables and then I can just charge multiple things or um, at once to me that's a slam dunk win so those are I think all of my reasons yeah those are my kind of key reasons why I am planning to buy the FX1 um, system. I think I initially want to get definitely the low pro FX and the trimmer. Um, I may also go for the gold FX as well, depending on what it all costs. But what I feel like Babyliss have done here is given me a big reason to say, okay, I am willing to go all one brand on my clippers and i've never historically been uh that kind of barber i always like to use different things but i'm liking the idea of the convenience that this system is going to give me but anyway guys i'd love to hear your thoughts about it what's the doubt for you from what's been announced and if you're already using them what's your experience been like leave it in the comment section for us and i'll be back with some more video and content soon take care guys peace